What are the recent changes to the PL900 exam and how would they affect you? Hello, I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. The PL900 exam is the Microsoft Power Platform Fundamentals exam. So PL for Power Platform. So we've got various exams, PL100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, and now 900, the one you see on the screen. The 900 range is actually the easiest of the lot. They are the fundamentals. So you've got AZ900, DP900, SC900, and PL900. So this is the fundamentals level. When we get to things like PL100, then you start actually creating the apps. For PL900, we're looking at the fundamentals. So these are fundamentals of Canvas Power Apps, Model Driven Power Apps, Power Automate, Power BI, and more. So if I scroll down, you can see that we have got these six different headings. We start off with describe the business value of Power Platform. So why should you be using it? It's as of April the 28th worth 15 to 20%, but from April the 29th, it will be worth 20% to 25%. So next is identify the core components of the Power Platform. So Microsoft Dataverse Connectors and AI Builder, that will go down a little to 10 to 15%. Demonstrate the capabilities of Power BI. So that goes up to 20 to 25%. Demonstrate the capabilities of Power Apps. Now this really goes up. It goes all the way to 25 to 30%. So it's a quarter or a third of the exam just in the Power Apps. And that's even more surprising when you see that one entire section of that Power App section has disappeared. Then we've got demonstrate the capabilities of Power Automate. That goes down to 10 to 15%. And demonstrate the business value of Power Virtual Agents. That goes down to 5 to 10%. Now, this is where you can see all of the individual topics. So if I click on this, you'll notice, first of all, it says the bullets that follow each of the skills. So these are the actual skills. These are the bullets are intended to illustrate how we are assessing it. And there may be related topics. So this is not necessarily everything. So this is why going a bit wider could be useful. Now, there are a lot of minor changes. And what you see on the screen is the version up to the April the 28th. When you're watching this video, I have no doubt the latest version will be shown, but this is useful because you can see the changes. Now, there are a lot of minor changes. For instance, analyze data by using Power BI has changed to gain insights into data by using Power BI. But if we ignore the minor things, build solutions that use Microsoft Dataverse has gone. Under the business value of extending business solutions, there are two new bullet points. Describe use cases for app source. So that is a way of having packaged components, especially for Power BI and others. And describe how Microsoft Power Platform apps work together. So those are two new topics. Under Microsoft Power Platform Administration and Security, it says describe how the platform supports privacy and accessibility guidelines. A new topic is privacy and accessibility capabilities and also governance capabilities. Moving on to the next section, identify the core components of Microsoft Power Platform. A few of these have disappeared. So you no longer need the use cases for solutions, for business rules, or the common data model. However, what's been added is the difference between databases and Dataverse, and the difference between Dataverse and Dataverse for Teams. Describing the Power Apps user experience has also disappeared, but you'll need to know that in order to answer questions about Power Apps in any case. Under Describe Connectors, Describe the Native Dataverse Connection Experience has disappeared. In the next big heading, Demonstrate the Capabilities of Power BI, we have lost Describe Types of Photo. Describe uses for custom visuals, but that's been replaced with the app source and compare and contrast dashboards and workspaces. However, that's not really deletion because later on we do have compare and contrast dashboards, workspaces and reports. 
In addition, we've also got describe the Power BI security model. In connect to and consume data, we've also got in addition to shared data sets and template apps, we've also got describe options for viewing Power BI reports and dashboards. And design a Power BI dashboard has also been supplemented with create a Power BI report. Design data layout and mapping has gone. The next section is Power Apps and Portal Apps have completely disappeared. So it's not just this one item here, it is also this entire section here, completely gone. So in terms of Power Apps, all you need are the Canvas Apps and the Model Driven Apps. There's a few other deletions. You no longer have to look into reusable components. You don't need to combine multiple data sources or describe the customer journey, but you do have to create an app from the data. And add tables to app navigation has been clarified a bit. After all, how can you add tables to an app navigation if you don't have to create the app in the first place? So that's now been called create a model driven app from tables. When we go into Power Automate, identify floor types. So that has been supplemented with including cloud, desktop and business process floors. Additionally, we have a new item which is describe the Power Automate apps, including Power Automate Desktop, Power Automate Mobile and Power Automate Portal. And then finally, we've got this big heading, demonstrate the capabilities of Power Virtual Agents. And within that, we've got these two subheadings. This first subheading has been expanded to describe Power Virtual Agents capabilities in Microsoft Teams. But the second one, doesn't say Microsoft Teams. So I think you need to be able to do both Power Virtual Agents and Power Virtual Agents in Microsoft Teams. However, within this, there are a few things which have been deleted. Describe where you can publish chatbots. Well, because this is a Microsoft Teams section, what well, you publish in Microsoft Teams. This publisher chatbot, which is outside of Microsoft Teams, still remains. Identify common pre-built entities has disappeared, as has monitor chatbot usage and monitor chatbot performance. So all of these changes will be effective as of April the 29th. So what do I think of them? Well, I think there has been a change away from asking everybody to know about portals. But in favor of that, we've got a lot of additional items. Microsoft Teams, especially with Power Virtual Agents within Microsoft Teams and having to know about Dataverse for Teams. Also the Power Automate apps, Power Automate Portal, Mobile and Desktop. And I suspect they dropped the portals to make room for all of these additional items. You still have to know Power Apps portals if you intend to do the PL200 certification. Now it may look like a lot of items, but how long will it take you to actually go through this? Well, in my course, I go through each of these items in under eight hours, and that includes creating a Power Apps portal, but that's only 18 minutes. So for the remaining of the items, we're looking at seven hours 20, plus the time that you need for all of the various quizzes and also the practice test. So I would say that you should be able to go through all of this comfortably in a couple of days. And then when you have done that, you should be able, with some practice, to have a go for the official Microsoft certification. Now, wouldn't that look good on your CV or resume? Well, I hope you're interested in this video about the Power Platform Fundamentals exam. You can see the various changes. So I hope you're interested in looking at all of the topics and going, Yes, I can do this, or maybe I need a little bit of help with that. And if you need some help, why not join me in my course? There's a link to the course in the description. And then following that, with some practice, why not go for that exam and add it to your CV or resume? Well, thank you very much for watching this. If you like this video, then please give it a like. And why not subscribe for more Microsoft certification news and other news? And why not click that bell next to it? That way you'll be notified of any new videos. Thank you very much for watching this and keep learning.